who clicked on this video like I just I apologize hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here hello welcome my name is Megan I make videos and sometimes they're good today's video marks my fourth anniversary on YouTube I've been doing this for four years now I started when I was a freshman in college right before my freshman year and now I will be graduating from college in December this is insane <laughs> YouTube has been a very big part of my life for the last four years, and I hope it continues to be a big part of my life. I'm trying to take it more seriously now and treat it like a job so I can maybe turn this into my career one day. But for now, this is what we got, and I'm going to be turning myself into abstract art today. I don't know anything about art other than the whole body painting world and that kind of thing. But outside of that, like traditional art, I have no idea about anything. I don't know artists very well. I don't, I don't know styles, but I know that abstract art is just kind of doing what you want or what you're thinking of in your head. So that's what I'm gonna do, but on my body today. <laughs> like I literally had to Google abstract art today, so. But yeah, I'm rambling a lot right now. So before we get into this, please, please, please subscribe. Become part of the family. I really, really want to make this something I do full time. So it would really help me out a lot. But also don't forget to like, comment, hit that notification bell as well to be notified every time I post a new video, which is about three times a week now because I'm kind of on my, on my game, so. Wow, I need to, I need to stop. Let's get into it. All right, you guys. So basically, I haven't body painted a whole lot here on YouTube, but I, it's something I love to do in my free time. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be painting from basically right here, the top of my forehead, down to this shoulder area, basically where you can't see on camera anymore. Um, but I'm super excited to do it. And it's just gonna be whatever I'm feeling. I have this Mayron 35 color paint palette. It's not 35 colors, I don't know why I say this, but it has basically all the colors of the rainbow. And I'm going to use it to paint my body in very weird ways today. And so I really don't know how this is gonna go. It might be a little bit weird, but we'll see. So I think we'll start with some blue. Blue is one of my favorite colors, so why not start with it? And I'm literally just gonna do this. <laughs> I'm not covering my eyebrows today either because I refuse to cover my eyebrows most any for like any type of look that I do because I hate covering my eyebrows. They're thick and they don't like to lay down very well. <laughs> We're gonna be in a little bit like this so you can see my face a little bit better. But this is what I have so far. Now I'm gonna take maybe some red. Let's get the primary colors in there. People are gonna, who clicked on this video, like I just, I apologize. I'm not the smartest monkey in the barrel. I don't think that's even the saying, but that's what I'm going with. That looks kind of neat. All right, let's get some green. I know I said we were doing the primary colors, but the green is calling me. So let's do like that. I'm literally just willy nilly painting on my face right now. Green gives me war flashbacks from when I do um, the Grinch. You want to know what kind of brushes I'm using? I'm just using brushes from Michael's craft store. But this is where I buy like most of the crap that I use in my videos. A lot of my glitter comes from there. Even though I know it's not makeup glitter and I shouldn't be using it on my face. I'm really here for the lines apparently today. So we're going to do some light purple. In other words, a lilac. I'm trying to use like different techniques of doing this too. Like the stippling motion. The people at Sephora are gonna see this and they're gonna be like, why did we hire her? Next, pink or orange. Let's do orange. We're gonna do orange. Also, I love orange, so. Oh, that was a good move. Maybe I should have looked up 
how to do abstract art. What is abstract art? Art that does not attempt to represent external reality, but seeks to achieve effects using shapes, forms, colors, and textures. Bro! This is abstract art. <laughs> what it would be like if I used this type of brush. Let's use this type of brush. And see what kind of thing I can get going. Oh, that was sick! <laughs> There's just gonna be random body paint all around my room, I swear. Sorry, mom. So this is what we got so far. So let's continue this line that we have. Hmm, maybe I can use it to make my collarbones look better. Oh, I went too low already, Megan, it's fine. There it is. And then we're gonna cross over with this other line that we made. And we're gonna go this way. Yeah. And I'm gonna do this. I don't know what I saw myself doing in this video, but I like where it's going. Mix the purples there and get a different kind of shade. <laughs> what shade have I not used again? Let's see, I kind of want to use pink. Oh, that was my orange brush, oopsies. Oh, that's a neat little color that happened there. Oh, that's pretty. It reminds me of a sunset. You can't even see it. Aw, oh, man. Why do I want to keep going back to, like, the red? I shouldn't do that. I need to branch out. What does this brush do? Let's find out. Let's take this weird orangey color. Oh, sick. Kind of just made the color that I made over there with the other colors. Boop, 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 boop. I'm also going to use it to, to put some on my eyelids. Sick. I probably shouldn't be getting this close to my eyes, but you know what? Here we are. Oh God. Maybe not my smartest move that I made. Do some green, more green. I'm gonna paint it back this way. I wanna get it in my hair so I can just be cooler. Gotta get the ears because we all know that the ears are important. I also always forget to take the makeup off of the ears. I want more red. Surprise, surprise. So I can use shapes, right? Let's make a freaking triangle. Neat. That looks sick. Let's use this shade. I 
I'm trying to use different shapes and textures, but I'm getting this everywhere. <laughs> A white paint on the camera and and my lights, so that's good. Woo, we got some bright greens happening. I think I need another shape. I'm gonna go with a circle on my shoulder. I like how my face turned out. My face is kind of cool. I also, I know, okay, so I know like I'm not supposed to use like actual things in abstract art, but I want to make a little, whoa, that doesn't, like, okay, I got really hyped because this turned out looking like a play button without me even trying to, and that's what I wanted it to be. Yo, that's sick. I need to outline it with white though. Oop, guess that white's gonna be a little bit green now. Yeah, look at that. I got a little YouTube play button on my cheek. On this shoulder to balance it out a little bit. A little bit of yellow because everyone needs yellow in their lives. Direct quote from Ellie Hayes who lives for the color yellow and also Finn Wolfhard. It's gonna kill me for saying that. Oh, I'm gonna put on this blue mascara that I have. I've never used it before, but I feel like it would just go with this look, you know? I got sent this like a while ago in my influencer package, in a influencer package, and I literally just never thought to use it. And I think I'm gonna use it in my eyebrows too. Ow. That hurts. How many times can I poke myself in the eye in one makeup look? All right, we got some blue eyebrows happening today, folks. Some blue eyebrows are out to play. Get out of here, little piece of hair. That's a pretty pigmented blue. Kind of looks cool. I don't know what else to do. I feel like I need more green. I almost just stuck that in my tea. Um, I want to put a little bit of a color on my hair, so let's do red because I apparently can't get enough of that today. This video should be titled Megan Roast Herself for 15 minutes straight. Paint my little bald spot red. I'm gonna go right here with the blue. It's a really good thing I have to wash my hair today. I think this looks great. No one else probably does, but I do, and that's what counts. Megan, ask yourself, are you proud of this? No. But will you still post it on YouTube? Yes. Yes, I will. We're done. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is the finish. 
abstract art look. Please don't judge me. Or you know what? Judge me a lot because this was stupid. All right, you guys, but in all seriousness, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for watching all of my other videos. Uh, YouTube means a lot to me and I want to do this for the rest of my life. So please help me out by subscribing, liking, commenting, hitting the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video so you can see stupid stuff like this right when I post it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I promise it won't be, I promise it won't be as bad as this one. Yeah. <laughs>